What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we are back again, opening up some more Hidden Fates. You all know the drill. We got another pin collection box, another stab at breaking the G shiny GX curse that is ridiculous at this point. Uh, before we get into that, I just want to uh, give a quick shout out to Pokecario who did win one of our giveaways. Uh, and he hit me up on Instagram and said, uh, yeah, so I got around to opening up the packs and uh, got some pretty interesting pulls. Like, oh yeah, what you get? And he sent me this picture. Whoa, <laughs> oh my gosh, that is an insane box. Huge congrats to you. And um, according to your Instagram post, you gave one oh, to a friend. That is awesome. That is a sweet birthday present. Um, so shout out to you and congrats. And not gonna lie, I am a little jealous. Um, on a side note, why can't I... So Instagram has like a website and you can't view your direct messages through there. It really boggles my mind. There's a Windows application but I record on my Mac. Uh, all right, mini rant over. It is time to break the curse. Can we do it? I'm not sure, it's kind of a funny meme at this point, but I really want some shiny GX, <laughs> so let's get into this opening. All right, so another three packs. <laughs> let's try this for the nth time. And being uh, higher than I probably want to know. <laughs> these, uh, these are not exactly cheap. So, as always, the Mew pin. And uh, who is excited for the tins? Uh, I've been talking to a bunch of people on our Discord, which I encourage you to join, that Pokemon Lover95 did set up for us. And some people in some YouTube comments about, you know, the implications of the tins hitting the market and its impact on the secondary market. My overall thoughts right now is that the Acquiring the tins, in my opinion, is easier than it was to acquire the pin collections. Therefore, and, and not only that, I, I would not, if I had to guess, I would think that there's going to be more printing of tins versus the pin collections. So there just be more supply from vendors, more supply in the open market. Therefore, I kind of if I had to guess, I would assume that it would drive all prices down. Uh, I cannot rationalize what... Oh, very nice. So, Alright, let, let's finish this pack first before I finish that thought. We are... We got another GX, but can we get a shiny GX? Boom! Oh, wow! That is a good one. Oh, buddy. Buddy, you did it. That is nice. This is would be a nice thumbnail. Let me leave it right here. Is there a way I could take a picture on this app? I don't see it. All right, enough for that. But uh, ooh, very nice poll. I imagine on pretty high up on every everyone's list is to get the full evolutionary line of this cute little guy. So very happy to get that poll. Oh, you know, Wigglytuff, you. I'm sorry, you do deserve a sleeve. Well, like, you know, you're not the. You're not. I prefer a some shiny GX variation of you. Uh, you you're definitely worthy of a sleeve. But. Um, yeah, back to my thought that I completely lost. Um, there will be a lot. Oh, that Charizard! <laughs> I don't understand it. That BGS. Maybe I underestimate how difficult it is to get BGS Pristine 10, all quad 10s black label. But that $10,000 card's like. What? What? Uh, and then, you know, just the card's going for like four to five hundred dollars That. That is an anomaly in my book that I'm not even going to begin to try to speculate on anymore. But everything else, I feel, assume will follow a normal trend of the prices will just kind of trickle downward over time, especially once more a, like there's a flood of more supply. All right, back to this pack. We have Ekans. I'm not doing a good job of looking at these cards. Starmie. Ooh, this is a this is a GX packed box but not the GX's we need to break our curse, but we also have a Q, ooh, I really like Q-Bone. So we do have a Q-Bone as well, and another GX in Starmie. Not bad, very good box though, but uh, I feel like we've been, yeah, we hit some, a couple cold bumps uh, not too long ago, but overall, like, 
very happy with our boxes. Yeah, just uh, can't <laughs> can't get a shiny GX. Oh man, it's uh, it's become. I can laugh about it. <laughs> All right, we got Koga for our last pack, guys. These pack openings do go quick. Uh, starting next week, I'm not going to be around to on Friday, Saturday, so I'll do a, a pin collection box ahead of time so you will there will be a video it won't be the tins though so i'll be delayed by a little bit but of course we'll be doing a giveaway at some point probably start on the weekend and uh for our last pack we have a lapras that is the rare i do like that art like that little beach ball and for our last pack all right can we finally break the curse i feel like from peaks at the side i don't think so but we have reverse energy reverse energies are kind of like nice that's uh better than you know not reverse energy, but it's <laughs> man, very solid open anytime. So, like in my piles, this is the pile for the rare and reverses that don't belong in sleeves. And when you only have two of those for a three pack opening, oh, sorry, Charmander, that is a good opening. And to recap, we have water energy, very cool. It's like you know, to get to swag your deck with um, secret rare energies is absurd. But reverse energies is very doable, so you can never have enough of these. Wigglytuff GX, very nice. Starmie. And then boom! Shiny Charmander. You are necessary in everyone's shiny or um, hidden fates collection, in my opinion. So welcome to the family. And uh, yeah, so that's it for that opening. Another failed attempt to break our curse. So the curse is still alive and well. Whew. Uh, this is a situation where it's like F to, no, I don't think so. We're not giving up, so we don't need that. We're gonna keep trying. Come back again for tomorrow. We're gonna see if we're gonna try again to pull our very first Chinese, Chinese GX. Um, but uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel recently. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. You know, definitely we've been going at a very fast rate lately, and I'm super happy to be bringing you guys all this content. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.